Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, our patrol through a gloomy higher element filled city concluded as we checked out the residential district, West Street, where Lloyd looked on at the law offices with suspicion, Central Square, and Station Street, ending in us arriving at the SSS Annex and finding a message left behind by Kia. It's now time to get our car ready to roll. Well, that's where we need to get to, right? There's our car. It's a good thing nothing happened to it. Kind of think of it, didn't Dita pay for this thing in the first place? How ironic that we're about to use it to quite literally break his bank. And then he just relocated too. It truly is a twist of fate. If you want to make a joke, Wazi, at least make it funny. Who cares? This old girl's as much a member of the SSS as any of us. Let's hop in and make sure she's got some juice. Good thinking. We haven't gotten the well. How can we drive it good? Wow, it's my first time riding in your car. The interior is quite lovely. I'm glad you like it. Kia was just as delighted the first time she saw it from what I hear. Looks like it's still in good condition. I don't think we'll have any trouble getting it running. We'll be good to go for the operation. That said, if anyone deserves to man the wheel, it should be Noel. Yeah, it's her baby after all. Sorry, she didn't get a license for nothing. We have secured the car and confirmed it is suitable for the operation. Should we drive it straight back to the chief and the others now? That would be best. We still have to hear the final details of the operation before it begins. What's that sound? Someone's trying to get in contact through our onboard comm system. What should we do, Lloyd? Let's flip the receiver on and see how it goes. I want all of us to stay quiet just in case, though. We have no idea who could be on the other end. It's been quite a while, SSS. This is Kilika. Kilika Ruran. Huh. Kilika, what in the hell? The flying swallow of the Taito school. That woman with the Calvadian intelligence agency. I'm surprised she's still in Crossbell. Could it be that you've been keeping tabs on our operations? Settle down, I merely predicted what your next course of action would be in this situation. I know you're pressed for time, but there's something I'd like to discuss with you. What do you say to another friendly exchange of information? Well... We're willing to cooperate, Kilika. But not here. Is there somewhere we can meet you? Crossbell Station. I'm in the second car of the train stopped to Platform 3. The station's been completely vacated, so there should be no threat to you on the way in. Got it. Platform 3, car number 2. I take it we'll be seeing Lecter there too? Am I wrong? Perspicacious as ever, I see. We'll be waiting for you, Detective. She has eyes and ears everywhere, it seems. Not that we didn't already know that. And we'll just have to speak with ju not just her, but Lecter too. I don't think there's any point in trying to worm our way out of this. Agreed. Let's make our way to Crossbell Station. If you insist. We don't know what could happen there. I advise we prepare carefully. Oh, okay. Let's say, can I customize this thing? Alright. The reasons I didn't have them before. I'm totally having them now. Do you know what I mean? Also, it makes sense to rest because I get my CP back for Lloyd. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. <laughs> There's no telling how long this exchange with Kilika and Lecter is going to take. There's still time before we have to begin the operation. We should take care of any unfinished business we have left. Oh, okay. The following events will lead to the infiltration of Orcus Tower, after which you will no longer be able to move freely through Crossbell City. Is there anything else I have to... I have been through the entirety of Crossbell City. I've done a few random things and learnt a few random things. There were no quests. Well, there were no straight-up hidden quests. But there was definitely hidden stuff. That's how I put it. We have our gear. Lloyd actually has his weapon back on so he can punch things good again. I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else that I can think of. We've been everywhere. The only place we haven't been out is the West Street exit. And we just recently saved. The patrol is over. The story now can resume at full pace. I could have sworn the front entrance was locked up earlier. Killica and Lecter must have opened it up for us. Man, though, this place is a ghost town. But I guess there's not much reason to be here now that the Transcontinental Railroad has been shut down. 
The Sumerian Railroad Corporation and all Erebonian and Kalbardian inspection officers were forced out of the country too. Kilika and Lecter are on the train at Platform 3, correct? Yeah, let's make our way down there. I gotta say, where is Platform 3? <laughs> I think I never worked that out. It's one, it's two, but there was no entrance to three. But it's probably leading off of one or two, right? <laughs> Gotta be odd platforms on odd side, right? Maybe? Sheesh, these empty platforms sure are depressing. It's evident these trains have seen no use for several weeks now. Indeed. That train over there, that's platform 3, correct? Oh! So I should have gone to platform 2 then. So it seems. Remember it's the second car from the front. We can use the stairs up ahead to cross over to the other side. Yeah, I knew that. Got it. Let's go. You mean the jumpy offy stairs? Everyone needs some good old jumpy offy stairs from time to time, right? So here's two. Which nothing seems to be going on. What do you from construction works being down here? You mean down there, maybe? So when you say it's car number two, you don't mean this one. Oh, you actually do. <laughs> that's, the tr that's the engine, not a car. Not for free second car from the front. Looks like it isn't locked either. What should we do? Just walk away, right? There you are. Long time no see, gang. Good to see you too. He must have contacted us from the train's transmitter. That would be correct. If I may be so bold as to say, your little coalition seems to be get more illustrious every time I see you. You've even recruited a dominion of the Septian Church's Growls Ritter, as well as the legendary Zhong Xiao. Why am I not surprised you already know my dirty little secrets? Honestly, I expected the both of you would have already left Crosbell a long while ago. Have you been here in the city all this time? Yeah, I've been poking around a bit. Got a job to do, you know. Way it's looking though, I'll be heading over to Erebonia again before long. Poking around? Don't sweat the details, we're not the only ones scuttling around. Someone's stooping around for the White Falcon too. You know what I mean? Yeah, brains. He told us he works for RNA Research. Why did we tell him? I mean, he probably knows. We could have just said yeah. Why did we out his n name completely? My god. Have you been in contact with him too? We've agreed to a mutual exchange of data on the current happenings in the state. They may be a private firm, but their intelligence network is most impressive. True, but they lack in numbers, so they can't afford to send people everywhere. I'd wager they're stretched pretty thin. Putting that aside, didn't your pal the Blood and Iron Chancellor go missing after catching a bullet in the Imperial Capital? That's your boss, man. Sounds like the kind of thing worth going back for. What? Oh man, Gilead! I could have dropped everything and ran back on my own two feet the second I heard, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Besides, knowing that old goat, probably saw himself getting shot and this fiasco in Crosswell coming from a Selga way. What? How could he have possibly known that he was going to be shot? Let alone anticipate the current crisis in Crosbell. Oh man, Gilead treats the world like one big round of chess. To him, everyone and everything is a piece to be played. That includes Crosbell vying for independence, manufacturing a Septarion, and trying to take over the whole dang continent. The Noble Alliance whoop in the Imperial Army's ass and occupying Heimdall? Just another gambit on his part. Same goes from getting shot and mortally wounded, opening the floodgates for civil war to break out. All the while, he knew Calvert wouldn't be able to capitalize on it by invading the new state-sized barrier Crosbell's made of itself. The old man's game board probably played out exactly as he imagined. Ah, th that's impossible. He's a beast of a man, that one. I find all this a little hard to swallow myself. While it does appear that Ouroboros is on the move in Erebonia, 
The real threat there may just be the Blood Nine Chancellor. He's a man willing to make a sacrificial pawn out of himself, all for the purpose of giving rise to a turbulent era. No, perhaps man is an understatement. He's a true monster among humankind. I figured that old man had a few screws loose, but I didn't think he was that nuts. Do you think President Croix is aware of this? I wonder. May not be my place to say, but I do commend Theodore Croix for the performance he's been putting on. But it's just that. A performance. He leaves much to be desired as a statesman. He can't help but view politics through the eyes of a corporate executive. What are you saying? At his core, he's still a banker, through and through. It would seem the legacy of the Croix family's mission has been left entirely to his daughter instead. How? You know of that too? Hey, they don't give us the shiny spy badges for nothing, kid. The little lady that you took in after the Schwartz auction? We've seen enough of the big picture to know that she's the core of that septarium they created. Well, that's just great. The continent's leading nations are really doing their homework, aren't they? I can sympathize with your frustrations, but please don't misunderstand. Knowledge is our bread and butter as intelligence agents. Rest assured that we have no incentive to interfere with the Septarion for our own self-interests. That said, it's only natural for our work to take us here, given that this incident has engulfed the entire continent in chaos. Our real goal is to uncover the mastermind, the true culprit who orchestrated all of this. The true culprit? It's as I said, President Croix is entrenched in his managerial mindset, more of a facilitator than a visionary. The role doesn't quite fit Maribel either. She is devious, but her interests seem to lie more in the art of magic rather than politics. As for the Divine Blade of Wind, I can't envision one as stoic and self-disciplined as him weaving a scheme of this nature. Of course, Ouroboros and Old Man Gilead off the list too. They both use Crossbell's situation to further their own games, but neither of them are responsible for this debacle. Someone's got a finger in every pie here. Politically, economically, diplomatically, historically. They've even got connections to the Croix family, knew the DG cult, and followed the society's every move. Our puppet master here has been pulling the strings from the shadows ever since all of this began. You can't be serious. This is beginning to sound like a conspiracy theory, a convincing one at that. Indeed, but we still have one piece of the puzzle left to find. Couldn't be. I was hoping we could corroborate our suspicions on who the culprit may be. But if you still lack the necessary evidence, then we'll just set that aside for now. Time is short. Let's discuss the other matter at hand. Other matter? Ain't it obvious? We're thinking about giving you a hand with your plan to storm Orcus Tower. What? Where the hell's this coming from all of a sudden? Now that I've gathered all of the intel I've been seeking on Crossbell's states of affairs, there's really no reason for me to remain. However, turning a blind eye after what I've learned would only saddle me with regrets further down the line. While it is true that Crossbell's fate would be better left in your hands than in those of outsiders, it would be troublesome for us were you to fall or to fail in breaking your way out of this deadlock. It'd be like throwing a game of pom pom party just because your opponent put a halfway decent chain together. Or, uh, so I've heard. I'm not quite sure that analogy applies. <laughs> Suspicious. When did you get your hands on a POM party account, Lecter? POMs aside, having you two in our back pocket would certainly improve our chances of success. Perhaps we should discuss this with the Chief first. Yeah, I agree. Follow us. We'll take you to our current base of operations. Wow, this is a thing. Afterward, Lloyd and the others introduced Killiket and Lecter to Chief Sergei. Upon exchanging information, it was decided that they would help with the operation. Shortly thereafter, Chief Roberts managed to successfully hack into Orcus Tower. With that, the plan to storm the building was set to commence immediately. Same day at 10.30am. It's only been an hour we walked all the way honest. That didn't scare me at all. All clear. Now.
I'm like, surely we just defeat them. There's only six. Commencing assault. <laughs> Use the cars as cover. Ah! Keep shooting! Ooh! Take this! Hey! Okay, Lecter! You're up! Very well! Ha! <laughs> Incredible! That doesn't pull any punches, does it? Kilika, allow me to assist! Very well, let's show them the might of the Taito school. With pleasure. Look at them go! They're gonna end up stealing the show at this rate. Leave some for me, why don't ya? It's time. Special support section. Charge! We've cleared the way. The rest is up to you. Roger. Okay, I'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh, no! Kevin! down to 30 percent we, we won't last like this enemy ion accelerating ah oh, crap on a stick this rate i'm gonna have to pull the big guns out father kevin you don't mean wait it's too soon for that if i can't stand my ground here then what right do i have to succeed your sister's name gonna need your help boys understood preparing for stigma activation kevin have some faith in me reese you're not off the clock, you know. I still need you to track the enemy. All right. Cerulean seal of mine shining from the abyss. Radiate down from the heavens and illuminate this purgatory. Converging orbital power. Stigma confirmed. Commencing deployment. Change detected in enemy aisle. It's charging its main weapon in our direction. I, the Thousand Hand Guardian, 5th Dominion of the Grouseritter, command you. Stigma Cannon Megadellus, activate! This thing. Septera must be supplying with infinite energy. It doesn't matter. Panamata would never lose to the likes of you. And neither will Estelle, Joshua, or myself, so give it up, you hunk of scrap! Ah! No! Ah! <gasps> Panamata! Why you? 
Ren, no! It's too much for you! Ah! Ah! No! Damn it! Ah! No, I won't make it! Ren! What are you saying? No, you don't have to. Please don't! Not our sentient robot friend. She's gonna be okay. All of her systems are still fully functioning. That's good news. She's made a world of difference for us. Absolutely. We have to make sure we take her in for proper repairs once our job here is done. Bad outside is still raging on. There must be no limit to how many of those golems can be generated. No time to suss it out now. Let's get to the elevators. Agreed. Remember the plan. Two members will remain here on standby and guard the entrance. Make the call, Bannings. Understood. <laughs> I have to take you because things are going on with uh, Lady. So you guys can stay. But you've got guns, so that makes sense. I say that, but Ellie's got guns. But we can't remove Ellie, so... That's just the way it works, right? We've got our powerhouses. To be honest, when you look at it, we've probably got the more... Powerful group. I don't know where Dudley really ranks. I'd like to think the Lloyd has come up on him by now. And because these are crazy arts casters, I think they, they're above as well. Pada mada! <laughs> Wait, can I still use the rest function? Oh, nice. Well, my car isn't as. Pada mada! Hopefully, it got blown up. Please tell me that Padamada destroyed it. Please tell me that the sacrifice was a bit more than... Please tell me it was a trade. Also with Kevin as well. God damn it. Remember, two of our members will remain on standby and protect the front entrance as a precaution. Now quit dawdling. We need to get moving already. Right. Why was I getting... Why was I feeling emotional over a robot in a video game? We haven't really talked to or been around all that much when I think about it. He's in bad shape right now, but all of his systems are still fully functioning. Getting her fixed up is all the more reason we need to settle things quick and come out of this in one piece. Agreed. We could even petition Chief Roberts and Mr. Gulam for their assistance. Okay. We can get it back together. It's fine. Hopefully we can get Panamada back together. But yeah, it really is. Panamada was part of that family unit. Looks like they only managed to disengage the security locks up to the 21st floor. According to Chief Roberts, there is a terminal on the 30th floor blocking off access from the orbital network. Unless we breach it, hacking what remains of the building would be an impossible task. Guess that means we've got to make the trip from 21 to 30 the long way. Are those mechanical floors supposed to be empty, though? What gifts? That must have been only a pretense. Perhaps in truth they housed the core of the Kroy's family's arcane secrets. The tower itself was likely planned in conjunction with that ritual they put Kia through. S seriously? It must have been designed with the fruits of their magical science. If only we could have made a preliminary investigation before things got this bad. In any case, we should make sure we're fully prepared for continuing onward. Yes, the Red Constellation may be lying in wait for us. Yeah, same goes for Kia. 
No matter what's in store for us, we're going to push our way through. Our allies took on a lot of risk to get us here, after all. We have to make it count. Absolutely. No pressure, of course. Not for us, it ain't. Now let's do this thing. I could already make a bet on what we're fighting at the end of this. Considering what else has gone down, right? Well, hello. We are inside. You ready for nine floors of rise? Yeah, they really got this place tricked out by Genten. <laughs> we'll let you design the outside architecture, the former theurgical sector. Inside, we need evil robotic architecture, thank you. What? <laughs> what the hell is this? I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. This must be the culmination of their magical science. A fusion of the Kreuz family's alchemy and cutting-edge orbital technology. We're staring right into the depths of their millennium-long delusion. One wrong turn in Yin's path through the centuries would have been no different. That delusion was what led to the inception of their puppets, the cult which in turn led to the sacrifice of countless innocent people. Yeah, even now they're burning Kia with the fate of a Septarion. Whether or not their reasons for creating this place are justified isn't for us to decide. But even so, Kia, Alios, Dieter, and the rest of their allies are waiting above us. We have no choice but to break through. Let's do this, guys. We'll end their deluded fancies of the past and seize Croswell's present. Right. Agreed. Roger Wilco. Ready when you are. Off we go. Right, well. Oh, I was wondering if these would blow up all or not. I've tried to check them out to begin with. Well, why are there monster eggs stored in here? I don't know. Well, this actually looks very endgame dungeony. But there are still things to hint that we're not there yet. Meanwhile, in that robot has yes. propellers to keep it going, but also yes. looks like blades of doom. Mina, you. Do you Spiral Clotho is its name. Oh, just spark dying it. I want you to do a scan. So we got the music like this throughout the entire thing, have we? It is not weak to win. <laughs> a guardian golem made by the alchemists of the Middle Ages eradicates anything that moves. I know. Do you reckon that Ellie's power will break through this? Yeah, it did pretty good, didn't it? <laughs> to be totally, completely honest with you, that did a lot more than you probably expected. I'll do. We just still got so much to deal with, do you know what I mean? First storm. Wait, what do you mean Estelle isn't part of the Croswell branch anymore? What am I supposed to do with all those Chestel quips I wrote? That's a robot person! I want to scan you. I don't know how many battle scopes I have. I'll use that instead because we got a finger attack coming. So we got this entire music for however long this dungeon is. Clay Doll, a magical construct built in the early days of alchemy, will attack with total indifference. I never asked about its uh, feeling on the situation, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried diplomacy first. Wait a second, doesn't that mean that it should like, be an indifference towards target? Should it attack its friends too? I wonder how much or fast we can build up those... Uh... Oh, you're the boring guys. I don't even need to get behind. I've got a 90% chance of successfully ambushing everyone. What am I doing with myself? You know what I mean? 
Frag Trooper. Yeah, uh, 90% isn't 100% true, but... An Iron Golem reanimated through alchemy boasts impressive defenses. So basically everything is weak to Tio in here. These enemies might be giving me one experience. Sooner than you would think. Savory pinion. I destroy it. Oh god. We're not just going up a tower then. I kind of feel like I don't want to vanish anyone Like soul blur would do enough damage, right? Oh my god How much damage is she outputting here? I know it's still a weakness still, but soul blur for 5,000 seems quite a lot. It's so weird. This happened in Zero as well. It's like, Tio should be the arts caster. It's like, no, Tio's more supportish. Ellie is arts queen. It doesn't make any sense. I guess depending on how you build them, anyone could be anything, but... They nerfed Ellie's craft as well, the Holy Bullet. And Energy Circle and Zite and all that uh, could be quite useful at times. So it really does feel like... Tio's got more than one use as just a caster, whereas Ellie is just mostly useful as a caster. Where am I going? Right, turn of every step if his money. Zai was going to be the CPU's new mascot, but they wanted him to wear a trench coat and say the catchphrase, take a Zite out of crime. Goddamn. Why are you like this? All right, I'm just going to press the random switch. Nothing goes bad when we press the random button. Maybe these nine floors are going to be faster than you think. Somehow I doubt it. That's one. Well, it's actually core low we're currently at. Oh, is that a... That's just a red chest. That's not a monster chest. I did want to see if I could move the big boy. But really no apparent reason when I think about it. Proper dungeon music, though. BPM, thank you. A rid of habeas corpses. I take it I just killed a certain amount of things. 